Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. What is going on with the, the bill right now? At the present moment, I have been taking off and cutting off the rust. So what I've done this morning is I've taken and cutting all this stuff off that was up here that was jagged and not really going to jive with what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to clean it up. I've cut along all the braces. We got some crop, we got a cross member right here that was cut off before. And what I did is I just straightened that up. As you, I don't know if you noticed before, but it was cut jagged with a saw because we were just cutting it open to get the engine and transmission out of it. And what I did is I just laid a piece of straight edge on there, made a straight cut, made a straight cut across, made a straight cut, and then cut everything off. This cross member will have to be probably replaced in time. Um, this sort of stuff, I dug this off, cleaned it up. We've got an outrigger coming here on the chassis. I've just squared it off where it came together to, you know, to start fresh and, and, and to be able to build off of it. Um, what I had on there before, like the front end that we had and all the metal we had there before, it was kind of a, a jagged mess. It had rust issues. It had rust issues and I got, and I deleted it, basically. Um, it was crooked. I straightened it out. It did not matter how big the hole is, does not matter, but I just want to straighten it out. So when I go to reply some metal, then I'm going to be able to, to fix it. If you come over on this side there, Jolene, my queen, my beauty queen, Jolene. She's sparkling today, boys. That was her nickname one time, Sparkles. Mm -hmm. Sparkles. She used to work at the tavern. The young fellow came in, he said, is your name Sparky? Sprinkles. Sprinkles, that's what he called you. Is your name Sprinkles? She said, no, it's Sparkles. But anyways, that was a funny joke years ago. Um, this panel here is, I guess you would consider that the inside sill. The outside sill will come around and come around and connect to it. Inside sill, outside sill. That's what's going on there. On this, this was a mini Winnie. It was a camper. It was a camper at one time. And uh, I think we do have a video of me cutting it apart. I'm going to try to get Jolene to find it. You never know. We'll see what happens. But if you come on this side, um, this side was cut out for something. Like, I can't say what. Um, the stove, the shitter. The sink, I'm not sure, but it was cut out on this side. You can see how they cut it out. Um, when I've cut this thing apart, you can see some of the holes that they cut out of this bad boy. Um, it really didn't matter a whole bunch how they how they did it, just as long as they got it done. But you know, that's kind of a jagged hole for you know you're buying a brand new camper and it looked like they blew it out there with a torch and they cut that out with a torch and that sort of stuff. Um, just looking it over and this is how you find out how cars are built when you start cutting them apart and now all that sort of stuff But um, what's got to go on here is I want to replace this piece of metal that has been cut out of there um, To get it squared up and looking the same on both sides We have a few little pieces missing in other places and a few pieces that I want to fix But basically I want to get this squared up on this side and the reason being is I feel that once I get this squared up then I'll make that outside perimeter on, uh, on, the, on the shell of the body. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to make, when I make the outside perimeter, so I'm going to come along here. We haven't got the picture right now, but it's going to come along. We'll have a piece come around the back. And we also can decide how low we want it to look. I'm not going to mess with the suspension on it. No, I'm not. But I'm, I'm thinking probably halfway of the wheel probably would be fine. I'm thinking that's what the picture was before. So if we came around with our, we're gonna do probably with square stock, came around, we're gonna go up over the wheel, just like what's going on in the picture. It's a guide, not exactly what we're doing. Up around, we're gonna come all the way along to the bottom, all the way to the front, up and over the wheel. And then we're gonna come all the way around. <laughs> up over the wheel and basically all the way around so when when we make that square stock uh, perimeter thing everything will be connected to the inside sill that's that's what I'm thinking the outside sill is going to hold that square stock all the way around don't know how I'm going to connect it just as as I'm going yet I don't know but I'll get to that as I get things filled in. So I do want that filled in. Once I get that filled in, 
I probably will clean it up a little bit. What I mean by clean it up just a little bit more, take some of this off, take a little piece of metal off there. I might scrape off some of this hard undercoating and I probably will give it a light sandblasting to clean it all off. Um, that does not bug me, but I know this is what we know from past builds. Everybody likes it in the bare metal look. To look at it, it just seems to look a lot better. We get a lot better um, response from it than starting something like this. Generally, I would build it, sandblast it when I'm done, and then go for it. But I, we find that people like to see it in the bear before we start. And that's okay. We can do that. And, and we are going to do that for you. And I want to thank everybody that comes back and watches because it would not be a successful YouTube station without you. That's the end of it. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Now, you show me respect and I will definitely show it back. Generally, I respond to people how they respond to me. You know, if you respect, respect me, I respect you. Um, you treat me like a piece of dirt, well then I'll treat you back like a piece of dirt, I guess. I'm not sure. I am sure. Yes, that's how it goes. But I want to replace this part here and, and try to bend it on that. I did measure it. I did measure it. And we're a little bit over four feet. A little bit over four feet. What I mean by that is 48 and a half. 48 and a half. We have 48 and a half on the brake, so I'm thinking that we can do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the edge of this up here with the grinder. I know there's gonna be some Y's out there that hate me, but just, just look at it this way. I am entertaining your husband at the present moment, and he is happy. <laughs> I don't know if you look at it that way or not, but it is what it is. If I haven't told you already, it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. And uh, everybody's home from the weekend for Friday, working on their hot rods and stuff like that. I hope that you get lots done. And uh, I hope you go forward. And I hope you have fun. Because that's what it's all about. Basically, that's what it's all about. I am going to... I think I'll just put this bad boy on there. Burn out one of... Nope, that grinder's burned out. That's not going to work, that grinder. Burn. No, that grinder is going to work. I burned out the other one. Burned out one of my grinders this morning. I wish Lincoln made grinders because Lincoln is good to me and um, I would use their grinder. There was a guy wrote in, didn't he say that he bought himself a new Lincoln welder and he's going for it? Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good for you. Happy for you. Kick ass and take some numbers. All right, I'm gonna get some glasses on. I am gonna put some earmuffs on because I did have some earmuffs on this morning. What, when it comes to the spot welds, um, up here on this piece here and over there, I used my air hammer with the pickle fork on it. It seemed to work pretty good. It seemed to work really good, actually. Did I put it back? Just wanted to show you. There it is right there. So that's what I did. I used the air hammer and with the pickle, fer pickle fork and it worked quite well, peeling all that stuff off. It's, it's sometimes in spot welds hold good and other times they don't even, they're not even connected. So I'm gonna clean this off and we're gonna put a piece in it. Let's try the other grinder. That's a flapper wheel with a 36 grit on it. This is a, I don't know what you call this one, 36 grit with a just a different wheel.
don't like this rock guard stuff. Just trying to straighten that out from, for that. Straighten this one out a little bit. The metal on this on this uh, mini Winnie is seems to be very thick. Seems to be good and thick. I would I would say it's probably a 16, probably a 16 gauge on that floor part and that side part. We're gonna use 18. We're gonna use 18, so we're gonna probably do some bracing in there. When I use, get that outside perimeter going, we'll use some bracing. Now I got some metal over here. I looked at that, what I was going to do, or what I was thinking about doing, if I could not bend it. If you do not have a break or something like that to bend a piece of metal that long, what I was gonna do is I was gonna run a piece of square stock from there up to this, there's a piece in here. And it's on the other side. Run a piece of square stock from in there to there. Then I can put that piece of metal on there. I can run a piece of square stock from down here into there. And then I could bring that piece down there. That would give me something to weld to and give me lots of strength. I'm going to try to put this in one piece. And the reason being is I'll probably put the strength in after. Uh, piece 18 gauge seems to be good. I do not want to get... I just yeah i'll put it in after if i have to but uh, i just want to get that one piece in there get that closed off and uh, get it looking like the the other side that's basically what i want to go for thought it over hey fina my beautiful doggy So when you first get your project or you get something like this, get the, get the junk off it, get it squared up and get everything ready to get started. Try not to leave any, um, what can I say, rust on it. Um, try to get the stuff off that you want off it and then start with a nice clean slate. When I mean a clean slate, square everything up. That's basically what I've got going on. Got everything squared up. Now I'm just trying to make both sides look the same. We'll take it out and blast it. And I've got a bench. Jolene laughs at me, but it's true. I got a bench. I got a marker over there and marker in my pocket. All right, let's see if we can get that. It's, sometimes for me, I don't get it just perfect when I bend stuff like this. And I'm going to try to do the best I can the best I can. We'll just see if it's a difference. I'll make it a little bit long. We'll go five inch. Five inch works for me. Five inch. So we're going to go over and mark five inch. Got a straight edge on this edge, I'm thinking. I'm going to do it 48 and a half first. and a half five inch do the next bend my strongest suit is not is not the tape measure that's not my strongest suit five and seven eighths how about 
Yeah, five and seven eighths. One, two, four, five. Five eighths. Five and five eighths. Not seven eighths, five eighths. We'll go ten and five eighths. Fina, Fina, stop it. And then we have seven eighths. If I get this to fit good, I'll, it'll be a victory dance. Even if I can get it made, I'm not sure if I can even. Hope so. See what happens. See, I don't know if I can get that bend. Think about that bend. Yeah, I might not even be able to get that. Hmm. Hmm. And that is five and an eighth. If I bend that, yeah, I don't know if I can get that all one bend in that bad boy. I'm gonna make it out of two pieces. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it out of two pieces. And that way there, I'll be sure to get it. I'm going to, um, What I'm gonna do is, as I think of what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take and bend. I know I can get this bend, the 90 no problem, and I'm thinking I can get that little bend there. What I'm worried about is trying to get, after I get this little bend, is get that bend, after I have all this together. So what I'll do is I'll make this, this, and that bend, because I think I can get that. And then when I make this piece, instead of making it flat, just flat, I will put it, so I'll bring, I'll double this up here. So I'll make this bend, or not have this been have this flat and make this uh, double this up and then we can either put it underneath or on top and we can double that piece up to give it a little more strength in the center piece so it's going to go bump bump out and this one's going to go up and in and then the two will be connected there to make that strong i think that's the plan hoping that see if it's straight straight um, bum, bum, I can get that that's what I'm going for or I'm thinking I can get it uh, what I want to do now is I'm thinking that I would like to All right, um, I can cut this different ways I can. I can get out the plasma cutter, cut it, or I can cut it with a zip cut. Uh, what would you, which way would you like me to cut it? Zip cut. Zip cut. Everybody's got a zip cut, obviously, so we'll cut it with a zip cut. Knock this off. We've got a zip cut over there, I know we do. Unplug this bad boy.
me and Jolene are going for a barbecue today. We're gonna do a little washer tossing. Apparently Tim just sprayed gas in his eyes after starting his payloader. So I'm gonna say he's just making excuses for washer toss. <laughs> just spray gas in his face? Yeah, I guess so. That excuse won't work. <laughs> So we're going to go play some washer toss, we're going to have a barbecue, and um, we're going to do bingo tonight, are we not? Yep, that's what we want. Bingo! <laughs> we're going to do a little bingo. We have bingo here in canning, we do. And uh, sometimes it's nice to do a few different things. You've never done do a whole bunch. I've actually played bingo a few times. And the reason being is Jolene's family is a bingo going family. So, you know what i got to do? i got to do the deed. <laughs> Gotta watch it, but I don't want to cut the truck. I'm all kinds of ways away from the truck. <laughs> all kinds. All right. Now. This one I can bend. There where that lovely cord is, right there. I was wondering where that lovely cord is. It's right there. I'm gonna bend this one. Got to watch yourself on that when you grind stuff like that. Sun sharp. I'm hoping that I can get it. Looks good. Looks good. Now I got to take that. I think it's a five-inch mark. It is. Put it on this side. myself down. I like it when Jolene pats me down. <laughs> rub me raw, baby. Rub me raw. Alrighty. Don't 
paying no attention to me today. Everything's good. If you do not have the brake, I already said it, you could run a piece of square stock in your corners and then run your metal to the square stock if you did not like to, to make that. If it was too long, that's what I was going to do. I was going to square stock it. That's what I was going to do. All right. I think I got it right. Anyways, there's the first piece. Alrighty, let's let's just get it tacked in place, and then I can make the next one. It's always good to, when you're when you're welding something, to run your cords out the best and straight as possible. And the reason being is, your wire works the best. If you got it all tied up in a knot and all like that, sometimes your wire doesn't work the greatest. I see. Just gonna take a look here. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up just a little bit better right along there. And I'm going to use the drill. Um, that little stripper wheel anywhere close by? I got. It. I got it. I love these little stripper wheels. Uh, no, I love Jolene. I like the stripper wheels. These little stripper wheels. You can buy uh, the one stripper wheel, and I think it's, are they $20? They're like $18.99. So you're better off, to me, you're better off to buy the dual. You can buy two of them, or one of them, a single or a dual, and they're basically the same. I have not got a replacement yet for, uh, the KMS stripper wheel with the big barrel one. I want the barrel, like it got a barrel on it. This is one I use to strip cars, paint off cars sometimes. That's off that one off the barrel. Exact same material, I would say. But it's so it's worn down so much now that it hits the gu the guard on the machine, so I can't use it anymore. So I need a new one, baby. Mm -hmm. I'll take two, please. Yeah, got it. What? Got it. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Oh, got to plug that in. Got to plug that in. That was a mistake on my part. When you're doing something like that, the drill's running that way, you're going to end up cutting a lot of your material off. When you put it down, you want to run it the other way so you don't cut your, your material off. You know what I'm trying to say. When, you're, when I'm spinning this way and I put it down, it's shooting it off this way. If I turn the wheel this way, then it's going to chew against that and it's going to wear that out quick. the other way 
because you're going this way. I want to I don't think it much makes much of a difference. Let's get the welder going. Sometimes you get the earmuffs on and it feels so good that you don't want to take them off. Got a new hat on today. I want to thank everybody. We had good sales yesterday on the hats and whatever, Hilts Auto Co. HiltzAutoCo.com if you're interested in supporting the cause. HiltzAutoCo.com for your wear. Joanne has all kinds of cool stuff on there. She made her own store. She's a fantastic lady, she is. She <laughs> knows a lot. All right, I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna tack it on right there, it fits good. Did I not have my wire in a good position? Or my, I'm just gonna tack it there. See what we got. Looks good. Um, this is what I don't like. Rode a little bit on that. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the zip cut and get the. I'm out here a little bit. This is out a little bit here. It's too far out. We're laying on top a little bit. I've got a tack there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip cut it to make it fit perfect. And it'll give us a little gap and then we can make um, it butt weld, butt weld that in make it fit good. Or the best it can. So if you don't like something, make sure you fix it. So I've got a tack down there. We've got a little bit of overhang on each end. That's good. That's good. That's great. I've got this going here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the line of this piece and cut this piece. That's what I'm going to do. And then, then we can fit in nice. We got gap going on there. No problem. We'll turn the welder back on. We'll make it fit. Perfect. Okay, it's hot. Guess I should expect that, should I not? Push that in there. Not worried about the top floor part. Just worried about where that part come out. We'll get it. What am I doing? Still didn't get that. Oh, no. Push that in so it's nice. Now we've got to do this in. Actually, I'm just gonna take my, I still haven't got that, that, oh, that arm on the, that was given to us out here yet. I'm gonna grab it sometime, get it out here, and use it. Oh, no, so that piece has to come out. Instead, that one's, that one's quite strong there. It's got two pieces, so I'm just gonna push this one out to match it. It's like my, my face and my arse, they're a match. They don't look alike. Okay, long to each other. Just trying to make a match up, that's all. Go 
gonna tack this down here. This end fit. And what I do is I follow the metal line. I try, you know, I follow this line here, this this metal edge here, and cut that metal because that is the metal that I see. That's pretty hard to follow the other one. Beautiful as you, Jolene, but beautiful. It's good. When you see me rub my hand over it like that, my thumb over that, I'm just trying to feel if it's flush. That's all I'm feeling for. I may as well. May as well hit that. Let's make this right. Following this line. That's good. tight in the corner. We'll grab a hammer. Get it down tight and then we'll nail it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little weld on this piece here. We'll flap or wheel it off because we're going to put a piece over top of it or underneath. I'm not sure yet, but I want to weld that little piece there so we can make it look good. Make it look good. I generally like to hit it and then let the red go away. If you come over this side, Jolene, you watch. Got a gap there. So what I'll do is I'll nail it with one, what I'll nail it, one spot of weld, I hold my about quarter inch away. I'm gonna nail it, and then I'm gonna let the red go away before I hit it again. Let the red go away. Let's do it again. Got a little stuff going on there. Let the red go away. Let the red go away. That way there you're not going to burn through, you know? Basically all I'm trying to prevent is burn through when I let the red go away. If it's red, it's still really, really hot and you have a chance of it burning it on you.
I like to keep I like to keep all my spots somewhat the same as I'm doing it. So if anybody ever comes in while I'm doing something, you know that look, that doesn't look too bad. If I start spotting it that far and that far and, and don't have any rhyme or reason, it doesn't look that great. You know, it, lo it looks better with a little bit of um, what a little bit of neatness. So to me, that looks a little neater than if I spot it that far apart and they're together. Thinking. The neater you do it, the better the job looks. And that's the end. Like that's basically what we're all going for, I think, is how neat we can get it, or the best we can get it. you're spotting something up, up like this try to keep it the same you know the best distance that you can Bye -bye. and a trained eye is a good eye Now, that doesn't look too bad, you know, it's in there, it needs to be welded, continue to be welded, but at least it's neat, you know. Now, let's, let's go for another piece, and we want, uh, what did I, measurement was, I'll have to measure it again. I think I'd like to come over top of that piece. Instead of underneath it, I think it would just be easier, would it not? Five and a quarter gets us on top. Five and a quarter gets us on top. Five and so I'm just going to knock that flat that that off there a little bit. I'm just going to use I'm going to use this grinder with the cutting wheel on it. Probably should probably use a different one, but I'm just going to take the cutting wheel, hold it on its side, and just use the edge of the blade instead of I'm not going to do it like this. You start using that that like that, and then you start thinning that cutting wheel down. You're you're asking for trouble. But I'd like doing this. Also, I can just grind the weld. I'm not grinding everything else, just the weld. We'll do that. Um, about five and a quarter. And we'll do um, does not matter, and we'll do three quarter on the top. Five and a quarter and three quarter is six. I just looked at Jolene because she, she's a lot smarter than I am. Six. That makes sense, doesn't it? She does to me. Try to hold that tape measure as straight as possible on your metal. Get the same distance there, same distance there, and that way here give you a little better read. Look at that, just broke that off. It's a shame. It's a shame, sweetheart. Zip cuts on the floor. No, it's not. It's right there.
earmuffs. Just because I started with them, I might as well use them. They're nice. quarter inch three quarter inch get in there is Fina barking Working. Ah. These bad boys up. All right, and we'll put that on top of there. We got a nice fit down there, and I'll just go in there and weld that together in there. Now, what I'm going to do is spot this bad boy on. Wipe this out best I can. Just give us a little more strength in there too, in case I couldn't get the bend. Let's uh, just push that in there as best we can. No, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna take a look at the other end. I'm gonna do it right there. Let's take a look at this end. We got a little bit of gap going on there and we got some gap going on this end. So I'm thinking that we're pretty well, I gotta cut that. Should have had that flapped out. I had my, my straight lines underneath. I should have had that on top and I did not, but I'm gonna guess it. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, the straight lines on the top, on the underneath. I should have had this on the other side, and I tacked it on already. Well, I can probably pick it up. Yeah, pick it. Up. Oh, there we go. Just pick it up and do that. Now I'm gonna sit on. Just tack that in place. Here we go. Pull this in place so it's. Flush. Good. Good, good, good. 
Now we got to do the exact same thing down here. Fall on the line from this piece. I did not do a very good cut on that one, but kind of jagged it up. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Now I'm gonna just bang that in a little bit. Actually, it's gonna now what I'm gonna do there is I want to make sure that's in as tight as possible. I probably should. clamps in there I probably should tack that together with a uh, with a, maybe a self tapper in there to bring that in tight but I'll probably push that in and then bring it up but I'm just gonna knock on the ends for now let's make it look like something Flush it out. There. No coat hanger. What's that? Get a bunch right there. On the didn't hear you. Just tack that in together. So what I'll do is I'll put a self tapper in that and uh, we'll push it in tight and then we'll suck that up tight. We'll actually probably bring them together the best we can. And then and then I'll weld it. But uh, I think you understand that. And if you don't, it's okay. Alrighty, we got that piece in it. That's basically what I had to do to get this side looking like that side. And that's what I done to get it done. I still have to connect it there, obviously. I told you what I'm gonna do. And uh, thanks very much for coming back. We appreciate it. Um, everything's going excellent. So basically, I'm just trying to clean it all off, get it looking both same on both sides, and then we'll start running that outside parameter um, of what we want it to look like. We're not doing the exact same thing. We are going to make it what it inspires me to do. So there will be lots of changes on the way. So bear with us. Thanks for buying the gear, hiltsautoco.com. We muchly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, come back tomorrow, comment, and we'll be here.